So fantastic to see you in. And there may be some people who haven't actually quite got round to seeing you in the job lot yet, and they will be surprised. I mean, and you film... When do you film the job lot? While, whilst you're doing Downton? Yeah, it work? usually around the same time. So sometimes we get, we get this week off in the middle of Downton, which is the hiatus week where I usually go off and film the job lot. So, yeah, out of the corset... Downton is such a huge thing now, but how is the comedy for you? Do you prefer it in a way? I love it. I love doing both. I'm so lucky that I get to do the, those different jobs and those different roles. But I absolutely love doing the job lot. We have so much fun. Even just watching that, I'm laughing, remembering filming that with Russell. Yeah. So, yeah, and it's such a nice cast. And, and tell us about your character, then, in the job lot. She's... I don't know how to describe her. She's a job avoider, I guess. <laughs> she's always got a reason not to be going to work. She just wants to sign on. Like, she doesn't want... She sometimes wants a job, but it's usually inappropriate. Like, when she wanted to be a, an exotic dancer, shall oh, we say. <laughs> and, yeah, she always wants to do something inappropriate that she's not capable so of doing. So she's the complete opposite of you in real life, not the exotic <laughs> dancer. But, well, I mean, it's Bryony's work shy, and you, from what I can tell, you're <laughs> always working. I mean, you're, you're, you're a bit of a workaholic, are you? You just oh, like to work all Well, I love working, yeah. I hope, I hope that's the case. Yeah. So you're, and you're in something for an, for an American series as well? You're filming that? Yeah, I'm filming at the moment for ABC, uh, a show called Gallivant, which I did series one of last year, and we're doing series two in wow. Bristol, yeah. You're transatlantic on every channel, doing everything. <laughs> I absolutely love it. Now, listen, we're in the middle of, well, sort of coming towards the end of Downton, really, I aren't know, we? It's so sad. And where will you be watching uh, the Christmas episode? At home in Bradford with my family. Wearing your tracksuit and your boots. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> with uh, everyone asleep, probably, around yeah, me. Yeah, it'll be an emotional thing. And do you, do you, will there be a film? I mean, there's always been a hint of this I have film no from idea. Jimmy I'm like, I'm like Daisy. I'd be the last to know. <laughs> they probably tell me right at the end. But she, I mean, you know, what a great character, particularly at the moment, because she's just coming into her own, isn't she? Being very yeah. outspoken on certain issues which at the time was, you know, a big departure from what was expected and she's wanting to do well in her education. Yeah, I love that. Yeah, she's the complete opposite of Bryony, isn't she? She's so ambitious and she's definitely become politicised and educated. It's so cool to think where I started six years ago and what, yes. what she's doing now. It's really amazing. It's been a journey for both of you, I suppose. You've both yeah. sort of grown up, haven't you? Definitely. Amazing stuff. We started out to make a nice period drama. We hoped some people would enjoy it. And then this great whirlwind has carried oh. us all away across and around the world. And all these actors, the young ones, were hardly known and now they're famous from Bangkok to Nome, you know. I, I mean, it's, it's bizarre, really. 